Hi, I'm Birdman Mel, and today's Backyard Birding Moment is about a very important topic, bird feeder and bird bath hygiene. My mom has always told me that cleanliness is next to godliness. It's very important to clean bird baths and feeders at least monthly to make sure diseases don't contaminate them and then spread to those visiting feathered friends you love. A simple mixture of one part bleach to nine parts water works great to clean and disinfect bird baths and feeders. Make sure though you rinse all items well with clear water after you apply the disinfecting mixture. I keep a handy bucket close by with all the essential items I need to properly clean my bird feeders and baths. A small putty knife works great when scraping wet or soiled feed from tray feeders or from hopper feeders. This brush is perfect for cleaning bird baths as its bristles are stiff and make it easy to clean algae and organic matter off quickly. If you don't want to mix bleach and water, there's handy spray bottles that have solution ready to clean your bird bath or feeder. Having the right brushes is one of the keys to easy and effective feeder cleaning. I really like these brushes from Songbird Essentials. The bristles are stiff enough to clean your feeder, but not so hard as to scratch the tube. This long brush even reaches the bottom of these long 36 inch finch feeders that many of us now have. When cleaning hummingbird feeders, it's critical to have a brush that cleans every part. You must keep hummingbird feeders clean or hummingbirds will avoid them as it throws off their guidance system. If you're on vacation and your feeder gets dirty, come home and clean it, but remember to move it to another location as hummingbirds remember and avoid locations where they visited dirty feeders. I love this brush kit because the four ends clean every part of every feeder made. They even made the shaft longer on this port and bee guard that you use to clean here where the hummers eat so it doesn't hurt older arthritic hands like mine. It's easy to use. Now listen up. Here's a real tip from Birdman Mel. Lots of people don't feed birds in the summer because they're afraid of messing up their lawn furniture. Here's a great product I found called Poop Off. It really works, and it's even got a little brush to make it easy to take off any little mess the birds might have left behind. A closing thought, you wouldn't feed your family off of dirty dishes, so please don't feed our feathered friends from dirty feeders. You and the birds will benefit from keeping feeders and bass clean.